we have decided that the following services will have to be suspended temporarily until further notice. Application for smart IDs, except for matriculants, we will not entertain an application for a smart ID, except if you are a matriculant. Application for passports, except for people who fall in the categories that are, are, are permitted to travel in the amend, amended disaster uh, 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 management uh, uh, regulations. Uh, we are also suspending marriage services and solemnization of marriages and registration of marriages. We are aware that this will be difficult on people, but please bear with us because we have to save lives. And for collection of IDs, please don't come to home affairs offices to collect an ID unless you are specifically invited via an SMS. And I'm repeating, if you did not receive an SMS from home affairs that you can visit the office to collect your ID, please don't come because that ID won't be issued to you. We are trying our best to reduce the numbers, but we have also decided to change some of the modalities in which home affairs offices, I mean, home affairs services are provided. We are proposing that all births and deaths be registered at the health facilities where they took place. You are aware that people do die in hospitals and uh, relatives or funeral house, uh, funeral, uh, uh, what do you call, mortuaries and, and, uh, and funeral parlors come to home affairs offices to collect the death certificate. We are asking that that death certificate be collected at the hospital where the death took place. And uh, these are the hospitals which have got the presence of home affairs. I want to repeat, not all hospitals have got home affairs offices, unfortunately, but there is quite a number of hospitals where there are home affairs offices.